to you. What is it? You know what it is? It's a chicken nugget. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. We are making my brother's birthday cake today. It's his birthday tomorrow. He turns 26. He's old. No, that makes me feel old. <laughs> no, he can't possibly be 26. But he is. Okay, he I'm is old. 26. I'm old. She is. Yeah, we are being a bit abstract, extravagant. We creative. Creative. Really? Yes, that's the word. We are making a chicken nugget birthday cake. Now, we've never made anything like this before. Because I'm not creative, really. I am. You're not. No, um, no. Though I did tell my friend that if there was a picture on Instagram tomorrow of a chocolate cake, it meant this had all gone wrong. <laughs> it won't go wrong. <laughs> it it will go fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Right. So to start off, we need your ingredients. My green. Margarine, sugar, flour, eggs. We're doing a vanilla cake, by the way. Vanilla sponge. Yeah. So back to the good old recipe that I was taught when I was a child. That never fails me. Gonna work in ounces, not grams, which is old school, but that's fine because however many ounces you have of margarine or butter, sugar and flour, you halve the amount of eggs. So today we're doing eight ounces of margarine, eight ounces of caster sugar, eight ounces of flour, and four eggs. And we'll do that twice. That's what we did when I baked with Micaiah. And that's what we usually do when we do tray bakes. We do the eight ounces and then four eggs. Because that's how I taught you to make cakes. It's true. We usually, if we're doing a round cake, we usually do six ounces of everything and three eggs. But we are actually using a tray bake today. We're doing two tray bakes to make the chicken nugget shape because chicken nuggets are not round. And um, obviously the reason why we're doing a chicken nugget cake is because my brother and me, I'm pretty obsessed with chicken nuggets. We're both obsessed with chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are the best. Chicken nuggets is like my family. Okay, now we move on to the caster sugar. Flour. This is self-raising flour. Are we going to do a mixture? I think I'm going to do, instead of eight ounces of self-raising flour, I'm going to do six and a half of self-raising, one and a half of plain, just so the cake doesn't end up too risen in a mound. We want it fairly flat. And then we have the plain flour. Okay. You've got flour on me. Sorry. Right, we're moving on okay, to we the have eggs. have large eggs. I'm going to crack them into cups just so that I don't get any shell by mistake in there. Then we put vanilla in it. Vanilla? Yeah, I'm just going to do a splash. I always put in a splosh. Oh, that might be too big a splosh. That That's was fine. quite a big splosh. And then we use our good old Ken. Ken, as we call it. And here we go. Okay, so our mixture is done. It looks very nice, very scrumptious. I could eat it just from the bowl, but I'm not going to. That's one cake down. And we have one more to go. I'm not gonna film it, because we're basically just doing the exact same thing. Okay, we've got our two cake mixtures. And now I'll put them in the oven for how long? I think we'll do 20 minutes to begin with and then swap them over. Like turn them around and yeah. swap them over. Okay. We will see you once the cakes have been baked. Okay, so the cakes have been in the oven for about 40 minutes. Yeah, and we're just going to check and see if they're done. I think so. Yeah, it's about to back. back. So that's always a good sign. Ah, uh, yours is risen. That's one you made. No, that's not done yet. Five minutes later. Okay, so our cakes 
have cooked and we are now moving on to making the buttercream. Are we winging it? Kind of. What's new? We wing things a lot. We found like basic recipes that we're just gonna use for inspiration but mostly we're just gonna wing it. So we've got our butter. How much are we going to do do you think? Did you say 300 grams? One of them said 300 grams and 600 grams of icing sugar. Okay so that's about 300 grams of butter. So we're going to do 600 grams of this do you think? Yep. This is the messy bit. Icing sugar is not my best friend because I get it everywhere. And sieve. We're going to have a vanilla icing. We're going to keep the flavours very simple because we have a honeycomb crumb to go on top, which is quite a strong flavour. We do, to make it look like the breadcrumbs on our chicken nugget. Now when you've got icing sugar literally flying oh. in the air, yeah. it's ready Let's just to have go. A, let's have a break to clean up a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to smooth the butter out to begin with. Okay, so we have 600 grams of icing sugar. All in together? No, 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 you want to do it. Not a lot, because obviously the icing sugar will like poof out. So you want to make sure you're doing it quite slowly. Done the buttercream. We've added a bit of vanilla and a little bit of milk to make it a little bit creamier. You have to use a spatula and kind of stir it around to see if the consistency is spreadable, but it also keeps its shape. So like, that is quite a soft consistency, and you can spread it. It doesn't move, and that's exactly what you want from a buttercream to keep it on the cake. Okay, so this is going to be our bottom cake. So we need to level it. That's a very nice thing to have for lunch. I have to test it, just in case it's poisonous. Is it good? Cakes are ready to go. We are going to carve the cakes into chicken nugget shape. We're trying our best. There is our chicken nugget. It looks alright actually. Okay, time to clear up the crumbs and then we'll get back to you. So we've done vanilla buttercream and we are going to pour some salted caramel sauce in it and kind of swirl it around a bit. So we have our buttercream, our cake and some salted caramel. We need three spoons. One to put the salted caramel in the icing. One for you to have a taste, and one for me to have a taste. Yeah, because we need to check, like if it's oh. if it's not very good, we're no, not going to we use it. It's very nice. This this might be a disaster. This might end up being salted caramel icing, but that's okay. enough? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, time to put it on here. Should we taste it? It's not very strong. You can kind of taste it. Does it need more? I'm sure we just mix it all in properly. Could add more. I think we add more and we mix it through thoroughly. And we'll get back to you once that is all done. We've decided that we're going to put a layer of salted caramel because it isn't very strong. It's not very strong mixed in with buttercream. So that's what we're going to do. And then we'll put the buttercream on top. Now we put the buttercream on it, yes? Yeah?
We're crumb coating now, which is she's one of the hardest things. She's crumb coating because I don't know how. It's not that hard, but at the same time, it's quite difficult. If you don't know what a crumb coat does, it locks all the the crumbs in and then you freeze it, or not freeze it, but you cool it down in the fridge. And then when you put the next layer of buttercream, the crumbs shouldn't um, appear. Okay, crumb coat is done. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the fridge for about half an hour, I think. Okay, and just the fridge it goes. Okay, so the cake has been in the fridge for about just over half an hour, and I think we're ready to put all the buttercream on it, which is very exciting. The cake has been buttercreamed, so now we need to put the <laughs> bread crumbs on the camera it. Out. <laughs> our, our honeycomb crumbs. We made the honeycomb the other day and we've crushed it with a rolling pin. So it looks like chicken nugget coating. Cut to the clips of us making the honeycomb. We're making honeycomb. We've already made some. Where is it? Where'd you put it? This is what we made earlier. That is our chicken nugget crumb. But we're just making a bit more because it's better to have more than less. Or at least that's why I always say. We're just using a BBC Good Foods recipe because we use a lot of BBC Good Foods recipes and they always, they most of the time turn out all right. Yeah, mum's just greasing the tin with butter. Um, what you also need is roughly five tablespoons of golden syrup, 200 grams of caster sugar, and two teaspoons of bicarb of soda, bicarbonate of soda. So we're putting in the five tablespoons of golden syrup, which is 75, 75 mil. And now for the caster sugar. 200 grams. And then you put it on the hob on a gentle speed. We have ours on two, if that means anything. Mixing it in first. And you just mix it. And you want to make sure that the sugar melts and dissolves before, it, before starts it starts to bubble. Do we think that it's all dissolved now? No, I don't tell. I don't know, it's hard to tell because there's no like white bits of sugar. So we think the sugar is dissolved enough. So now you turn the heat up and you let it simmer until the colour is like an amber, orange kind of. Kind of looks a little bit like caramel as well, because I mean, technically it is. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then you pour the bicarbonate of soda in. Quickly. Quickly. Very quickly. And then you stir, and then you get honeycomb. It's great. A few moments later. I would say it's ready, wouldn't you? Yep. Turn the heat off. And now you pour in the bicarbonate of soda and it buzzes. That's so cool. And then you pour it into a, like a square tin and it's going to be really, really hot. So 
Get an adult to help. <laughs> so you leave that for an hour, or an hour and a half. It says in BBC Food either an hour or an hour and a half, and then it should be good to crack. Snap, crack, or pop. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we'll have to do it with our hands. See you come there. We're making such a mess. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm stepping on it. Treading in it. I don't mind it going on the work surface, but if we could avoid it going on the floor, I'd be very grateful because it's stuck between my toes at the moment. Gross! <laughs> okay, but I think that looks like I think that a looks chicken cool. nugget. Yeah. Right, we're going to put it in the fridge. I want to take a photo first. Oh, okay. Into the fridge. We've cleaned up from the honeycomb. Just as I say that, I find honeycomb on my sock, which is great. Now we're moving on to the sauce. So I, ha I had the idea. Mum had the idea of doing a chicken nugget cake. And then I came up with the idea of making some red sauce to go on top of the cake or like with the cake so it looks like ketchup. So we've got a small bottle of ketchup, cleaned it out, emptied, emptied what was in there. Yeah, so emptied what was in it. And we what didn't we're going to do... Yeah, we put it in the bottle. We didn't waste over. it, no. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this and colour it red. And we have tried it and it does work. And we're going to put that in here to serve alongside our chicken nugget cake. So this is really just a wing job as well. We don't really know the quantities. Now for the food colouring. Right, I'm only going to do a very little bit at a time. Yeah. Not red enough or a bit more? Maybe a touch more, but not that much more. I think that's nearly there. Right, you pour it in. There we go. Look at that. Special. How cool. Toffee sauce. We have our ketchup and obviously our chicken nugget. And now, I think the next clip you guys will see is tomorrow, the day of Dan's birthday. And I will show you their reactions to the cake. The next day. Okay, so it's the day of Dan's birthday. Mum is currently bringing the cake upstairs. There's the cake. And we have these candles to go on them. There we go. There's the chicken nugget. We just want them, don't we? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daniel Dan. Happy birthday to you. What is it? You know what it is? It's a chicken nugget. Yeah! <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> With <laughs> it is it is the right one. We don't have we don't have <laughs> No, taste it. Taste it. Taste it. <laughs> oh it's amazing. <laughs> Do you like it? That's sick. I don't know where to cut it. Should I start down here? There we go. Thank you. And have it by mistake. Like the honeycomb. If you made it through that video and you watched it from the very beginning to now, I applaud you. It's a really long video. <laughs> but I mean it took us a while to make the cake and I wanted to show everything, show the whole process. So, with that being said, 
this is the end of the video. I didn't actually close the end of the video. At Dan's birthday, it, this is like, it's been a month since his birthday. A month and a day. But obviously, it doesn't matter. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And comment below what you thought about our chicken nugget cake. What could we have done to make it better? Have you done anything similar? It was a big cake, but it was fun and it was a challenge. And I think we did a really good job, if I do say so myself. Make sure you press the subscribe button to see more videos. I now have a videography YouTube channel for my videography business called Becca B Videography. So if you want to go follow that, subscribe to that, then please do. All of the links to any social media accounts for my business will be in the description below. I would really appreciate it if you would check those out and give it a follow. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!